Sun 2 LEM with another quick video clip. Here is the MTR 3000. Um, switched out the supply. Uh, the 3000 supply is right on the floor. We pulled out a supply from a, a working MTR 2000. Uh, threw it on. The DC, uh, the external DC power cord on the 2000 is fixed to the supply. On the 3000 is two spade connectors on the app. But anyway, we're going to plug it in and power it up and and see what we get. Here we go. Power supply fan is on. So far, looks good. Let's see if the, there goes the PA fan. We got a status light, no errors. There you go. Looks like we're good to go. A PA fan just turned off. Um, the specs of the supply are identical as far as the uh, the outputs for the um, the voltage. The, uh, let me get the 3000 supply here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The tags are different as well, but the actual specs of the supply, uh, the 28.6 volts is rated at 13 amps. The 14.2 uh, volts is rated at, uh, I believe that's eight amps and the 5.1 volt is at two amps. And that was identical on the, uh, the, the, uh, MTR 2000 supply. Um, uh, the the eight pin Molex and the six pin Molex that plug in are identical. Like I said, the only thing that we had to transfer was the, the external DC cable because that's fixed on the uh, on a board. The uh, I believe it's a regulator board. Um, with the 3000, it actually plugs in with two spade connectors and you could remove it. That was probably an upgrade. Uh, the specs of the supply, the amperage, um, and the voltage is identical. And, uh, we'll look like we're ready to read. Look like we're, we have it on the bench. I could probably, uh, go grab a, a microphone and plug it in and key it up and, uh, test it, test the output power which is probably what I'm gonna do next. So this is N2LEM, we'll say best 7.3 on the MTR 3000. Uh, swap out the power supply with the MTR 2000 supply.